Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will talk about low power VLSI design or low power CMOS design. You are learning with Dr. Shobha Nikam. So definition of low power design is it is a collection of techniques and methodologies which are required to reduce the overall dynamic and static power consumption. So power consumption is broadly divided into two types static power consumption and dynamic static is when a circuit is idle. It is not performing any task then the power will get consumed in it and dynamic is when circuit is performing some task then also power will get consumed. I have prepared separate video for power dissipation in CMOS. The link is given in the description box. So before watching this video do watch that video so that you will understand the causes of power dissipation. So in low power design or low power CMOS design the goal is to reduce the individual components which contributes in power dissipation like the frequency, transition time, capacitive load which is used in dynamic power dissipation, voltage which is used in static and dynamic power dissipation, leakage current which is used in static power dissipation, peak current which causes the short circuit power consumption. So by reducing all these parameters at the end we can reduce overall power consumption of the circuit. So the goal is to reduce the individual components. So we need to focus on all these components for reduction of power dissipation or for low power design. The need for low power design is here the electronic devices are broadly divided into two types battery powered devices like mobile phones or laptops and plug-in devices like TVs, fridge, washing machine. So industries are pushing their boundaries continuously. They are adding more and more features, more functionality in the systems. So in case of battery power devices, low power design is very important to improve the battery life. Our expectations are battery life must be very high. So and that we can achieve by minimizing power consumption. And in plug-in devices, reduction of the overall cost of the system by reducing need of heat sinks when circuit consumes more power it gets heated so we need heat sinks and cooling systems so by reducing power consumption need of those heat sinks and cooling systems will get reduced also electricity cost will get reduced so this is need of low power design so in exam if question is what is need of low power design so you need to describe it by considering battery power devices as well as by considering plug-in devices Then low power design techniques. So the techniques which we use to reduce the power consumption. So very first technique is clock getting. We perform this technique during logic synthesis. So here the code for D flip flop is written if enable is equals to 1 or let's say then Q is assigned as D else q is assigned as q that is q will carry previous value if enable is <coughs> activated then only we will get new value or d will get uh, d will come to q so here in case of clock getting this circuit is continuously receiving a clock when enable will become one then we will get new output that's fine but the circuit is continuously receiving clock and when we write equation in terms of if l statement or k statement it will generate hardware as multiplexer so this is a multiplexer so multiplexer consumes some area on the chip in case of clock gating, clock is given through some gate, let's say AND gate. So it removes the need of multiplexers. So it saves multiplexers area. Now see how this circuit works. So here this is my clock. One input to the AND gate is clock and other input is enable input. Now in case of AND gate, when both inputs are 1, then only output is 1, otherwise output is 0. So when enable is 0, 
AND gate will not generate any output. So output of AND gate is here zero. So this flip flop will not receive any clock. In previous case, even if enable is not active, even if enable is zero, we will not get new output. But our circuit will continuously receive the clock. Whereas here the circuit will not receive any clock. So it reduces switching activity of the clock net. In case of dynamic power dissipation, power dissipation is because of short circuit and power dis uh, dissipation is because of switching. So here it reduces switching uh, activity of the clock net and by reducing switching activity, it reduces dynamic power. So this is all about clock gating. Next is multi voltage. So uh, in, a, in a chip, in any chip, few blocks are high performance blocks, few blocks are low performance blocks. High performance blocks needs high voltage, whereas low performance blocks can work on low voltage also. So in multi voltage technique, this is the technique which is used for low power design. So in multi voltage techniques, what we do is we divide functions of the chip they are partitioned based on the performance like high voltage uh, high performance blocks and low performance blocks and highest voltage vddh high and vddl is low voltage so high voltage is applied to high performance block whereas low voltage is applied to low performance blocks and when we want to connect low performance blocks and high performance blocks with each other then we use level shifters. So for low performance block, we are applying low voltage. What is power? Power is voltage into current. So when we are reducing voltage, automatically power consumption will get reduced. And the next technique is power getting. Just like the previous uh, technique, multi-voltage technique, here what we do is we use power switches. So this is power management unit. In case of multi-voltage technique, what we do? We apply high voltage to high performance blocks and low voltage to low performance blocks. Here what we apply is we shut off the power completely for a block if it is not in use. So if block is in idle state it is not doing any task then we come shuts off the power we don't apply any power to that block and because of that what happens the uh, uh, the <clears throat> static power consumption that is leakage current becomes zero or voltage is zero and that is why even if some leakage current flows power is voltage into current so no voltage is applied so static power consumption becomes uh, it reduces so this zeros out the voltage and shuts of the power resulting in both static and dynamic saving so here we don't apply any voltage to the block which is in idle state but other blocks will keep on running we will apply voltage to other blocks so these are the three techniques which we use the clock gating power gating and multi voltage technique uh, i hope this video is useful for you uh, if you like it do share it with your friends like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching